Listen to this. 10,000 people will turn 65 today, and the next day, and the next day. By 2035, 78 million Americans will be over the age of 65, 20% of the population. That's a lot of early bird specials. And an overwhelming majority of older Americans say they will remain in their homes as they age. Home is where the heart is. And Mr. Fluffy Pants. That's where I come in. Home care workers like me make it possible for our community seniors and people with disabilities to live at home with dignity and independence. We help with bathing, toileting, medication, meals, and getting around. To provide care for a rapidly aging America, we need more than one million new home care jobs by 2028. But the truth is, there just aren't enough home care workers. In some states, there are 20, 35, 50, or even more seniors in need of care for each available home care worker. And the care gap means that some people won't get the essential care they need. But there's another problem. Home care is a really tough job. And even though it's one of the fastest growing jobs in America, it's one of the lowest paying. Nationally, home care workers are paid less than $18,000 a year. That's a median wage of just $12.12 .12 an hour. We can't afford to provide for our family while taking care of others. And it's no mistake that home care workers are paid so little. The home care workforce is overwhelmingly women, and nearly half are Black, Latina, and Asian Pacific Islander. In addition to low wages, many home care workers don't even have affordable health care, basic overtime protections, or the right to join a union. Why? Well, when FDR was trying to pass the New Deal, things like Social Security, the 40-hour work week, and employer-paid health care, Southern politicians blocked him until jobs mostly held by black women and men were left out. Yep. And that systemic racism has helped create America's care crisis. So what do we do with our aging population? Not quite. We have millions of experts on how to fix home care. People like me and the people we take care of. And the experts say it's time for a care revolution. Home care workers need a voice in this system so we can make sure it works for everyone. Those who need care and those who provide it. Along with higher wages so we can feed our families, benefits like affordable health care, paid time off, sick leave, training opportunities, PPE, and the right to join a union. And our long-term care system has to be reimagined to ensure affordability, availability, and quality for all. Older Americans and people with disabilities should be able to afford the care they need. And home care workers shouldn't have to choose between feeding their families and keeping the lights on. Bold solutions begin with us. We can solve the care crisis and fill the care gap. Join us for a care revolution.